But our, our last review of the week is another film that is in limited release, but this one is actually going to be broadcast on MSNBC uh, in the beginning of October, October 9th. And that film is a new documentary from Don Porter called The Way I See It. Now, Don Porter made another sort of political documentary earlier this year, a tribute to John Lewis called John Lewis Good Trouble, which Will reviewed here on the show. And this is her next film, uh, also a documentary, but this one centers around Pete Souza, who was the former chief official White House photographer during both the Obama administration and the Reagan administration. Uh, Laura Dern serves as one of the producers along with Don Porter. So the first thing I want to say is that I actually follow, I've been following Pete Souza on Instagram for a few years, and that's kind of his claim or his rise to more fame than you would expect from a White House photographer. They, none of them tend to be like household names, for example, but a few years ago, he started doing this thing that raised his profile, which is he would post pictures on Instagram, sort of trolling the current president. Uh, so like if the president said something very like, like I just lied about Barack Obama, he would post a photo that would just sort of show the the nonsense of it or like kind of, it would be like a reality check of like, you know, without having to say it overtly, he could sort of point to the Obama administration and be like, remember when you had a president who didn't create a stir every single day? Um, that's kind of his like brand. And because his Instagram really took off, he wrote a book called Shade, which sort of ties to the first time he did this. It had to do with the drapes that were chosen by the Trump administration. It sounds pettier than it is, I guess. But what I like about the documentary is that it kind of lays it out in a way that is pretty entertaining to watch how this guy sort of decided he needed to be a little bit more politically outspoken because his whole thing is that you know, he served under Reagan, he served, uh, served under Obama, both of which are two of uh, probably the two most iconic presidents in modern American history since probably World War II, I would say, um, you know, unless you would, I guess you could say like John F. Kennedy or something like that. But if you, if you look at two of the most successful presidents in terms of even public image, I think Reagan and Obama are pretty high up there, if not the very highest. And that informs, I think, Pete Souza, who is a guy who thinks that beyond just like what you think is best for the country in terms of policy, there is like this sort of like moral uniting standard of behavior that a president should exhibit. And this movie is sort of about how he draws those similarities between Reagan and Obama. You find out how he got his start, how he got into both administrations, and then how he how he views the humanity of Obama. And it this this is another political documentary like ones we've talked this year that does it it is a bit of a puff piece right it isn't trying to critique or analyze or do anything with the obama administration that is all that insightful if you are already a fan of obama or if you cannot stand obama you are not going to get much out of this documentary unless you are feeling particularly open minded on the part of somebody who is politically against him or you're feeling like you just really nostalgic. Like you really just want to go back to the administration as an escape, which, okay, sure. But I, and even in that sense, I don't, I don't see this as a documentary that's going to do all that much for you. It's, it's one that's going to, it's not timeless in that sense. Like you're not going to come back to it. I think at any point, I think that in a lot of ways, the Obama administration for those folks sort of speaks to it, speaks for itself. But the reason the documentary worked for me is because I'm that rare bird of like, you know, during the Obama administration, I, I believed a lot of the the right wing um, fear mongering around this guy. And I, I didn't see him as this human family man who was just of an uh, utmost character and this guy who really had great intentions for the country. I, I thought he I thought he hated America. I thought he was this terrible person. But over the course of the administration, I realized that I was completely wrong about that, that I had been fed a story, fed a false narrative about somebody who, while not above reproach, and I'm still waiting for that documentary because I, I do want somebody who is more inclined to like be like, all right, here's where the Obama administration went wrong and where that party needs to correct their mistakes. I want that documentary. Uh, I, as far as I'm aware, it's not out yet. <laughs> and I would love to see it. Because, but I think right now people are not in the mood for that because we have other problems to deal with if you're on that political side of the spectrum. But that said, for people like me who didn't vote for Obama either time and 
by the end of his, his administration and throughout the most recent one have figured out, okay, wow, yeah, there there is a complete difference between what we were told about this person versus what we're being told about this person. This is a very helpful documentary in that sense. It helped me learn a lot more about somebody that I had shut out, um, somebody that I just sort of dismissed for many years and ha- sort of started to come around to understanding, you know, and, and feeling like I missed out a little bit on the people who during the Obama administration um, felt that he was a really good leader and felt that he did provide a really good example, even if they did have some profound criticisms against him. So that's kind of what this documentary is, is getting at. And I think it's also pretty unique compared to some of the other election year documentaries. It's it's not kind of like the rah, rah, hashtag resist kind of documentary the whole time. Uh, it is actually uniquely told. It uses photographs and stills that are really well paced and edited in order to keep your attention and, and keep the energy moving. And, and there, there's some charming, sweet moments. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're looking for a more, uh, if you're looking for something like a documentary, that's more neutral, that's a little bit more of like fly on the wall. That's not really what this is. And, um, you might even be annoyed at some of the ways it does that same soft peddling on the Reagan administration. Right. You know, I could see a lot of people who are pretty far left watching this and being annoyed maybe at, uh, how this, how this sort of portrays Reagan himself. Although one thing that I, I do appreciate about this movie, I can't believe how brazen it is about showing how staged these photo ops are. Like we all know it, but I thought it was kind of, kind of interesting that they, you know, they dropped the pretense a bit and be like, yeah, a lot of this stuff is completely staged and you know, it it's there to sort of per- continue a public image for the sake of it. And um, I, I did find that pretty fascinating. So uh, I liked the way I see it. I would give it a B. I think that it's, Definitely worth checking out if you watch the trailer and you think that this is for you. But if, yeah, if you're not a fan of the administration, this might just annoy you. So you may want to avoid it. And uh, yeah, this is from Focus Features. And like I said before, it's in some theaters right now um, as of uh, the 11th. And I think it was showing at Toronto. It premiered at Toronto, actually, the film festival. And uh, as of the 18th, it started a theatrical, limited theatrical release. But yeah, if you have MSNBC, and I should have said MSNBC Films helped produce this, they are going to be broadcasting the documentary on October 9th. That is the way I see it. Uh, I don't know, Abby and Will, if, if either of you are interested in it. I I can't say that I, I think that you have to rush out to see it. Um, but yeah, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I'm I'm interested to see it now, uh, especially to hear you uh, to hear you talk about it. I I'm I've been a follower of Pete Souza on Instagram recently as well. Ah. So I yeah I think that that'll be an interesting, maybe not uh, galvanizing necessarily, but kind of an interesting peek behind the curtain. Fellow Souza holic, love it. This is one of the ones that was available for me at the Toronto International Film Festival, but knowing that it would be coming out in like a week or, or I guess now technically about like two or three weeks, but. I decided just not to watch it. And also just I wasn't really crazy about like I have nothing not to say anything about like Obama himself. Just like I just don't really have any interest right now in a documentary. It's just like, hey, Obama's cool. It's like, OK, fine. Like, I, I don't if the if people want that, it's fine. Like, I'm not uh, against that right now. But I mean, as far as like movie watching is concerned, it's not my main interest in a political right, right. year. But, you know, I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad it's pretty good. So uh, that's what counts. 